Espiritu. I agree uh, na hindi dapat binababaan ang age of criminal responsibility. I disagree na dapat parusahan ang mga magulang. Tandaan natin ang krimen sa na dito sa sa baba ng ating lipunan sa mga mahirap ay dahil sa social problems na create ng ating lipunan. And I also agree na dapat bigyan natin ng tamang value sa mga kabataan. Dapat tinuturo sa school na masama ang extrajudicial killing, masama ang red tagging, masama si Marcos, ang marami siyang human rights violation. I disagree. Nung panahon... <laughs> Okay. Before you were interrupted. Dapat tinuturuan natin ang kabataan na respetuhin ang buhay, ang human rights, respetuhin ang buhay ng lahat at hindi dapat pumapatay ang ating mga gobyerno. At hindi nagnanakaw ang ating gobyerno. Diyan tayo magkakaroon ng mga mabuting henerasyon ng kabataan. Thank you. At, Attorney Gadon, you have 45 minutes for your interpolation. Yes. Yes, Attorney Gadon, you, you may now interpolate with Attorney Espiritu. 45 seconds. Yeah. Uh, palagi nalang pinopoint out niya. Palagi nilang sinasabi yung, uh, yung uh, human rights violations ni Marcos. Eh, unang-una, sino ba ang nagpapatay dun sa mga NPA na gustong sumirender? Eh, di ba si Joma? Oh. Eh, bakit din yung sinasin si Marcos? Attorney Espiritu, you have 30 seconds sino for your rebuttal. Sino bang bumumbas sa Plaza Miranda? Yes. Ha? Sila Joma. Okay. I'll, oh. go, I'll go by the Bakit record. Bakit yung naiisisisi kay Marcos yun? It's my time. Uh, this is time. Yeah. We should not it's use this time. forum for a propaganda against the Marcoses. It was, it was intended. Atter yes. Attorney Gadon, your 45 seconds is over. We have 30 seconds for Attorney Espiritus rebuttal. Oh, binuksan mo ang usapan. Huwag mo akong pagbawalan. I go by the record. Amnesty International, 3,257 ang pinatay nung panahon ni Marcos. 35,000 ang mga... It's my time. Huwag kang bastos. It's my time. 35,000. 30, okay. 35,000 ang tinorture. 70,000 ang kinulong. It's a matter of record. Thank you. 30 seconds for a bottle. No nagkaroon ng kaso sa Hawaii, yung 10,000 human rights victims, nung ini-implement nila dito, yung nag-file sila ng petition sa, sa uh, RTC, wala silang naipresent ang ebidensya. Pagdating sa Court of Appeals, wala rin. So asa nyo sinasabi nila yung human rights violations na yan? Uh, we have... Dismiss yung kaso. We have interpolation from Attorney Roque. That would be 45 seconds. Kung ano man ang nangyari sa nakaraan, inisa-isa ko po ang records, wala pong kaso for human rights violations sa Amerika si Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Inisa isa ko rin po ang mga kaso na decided po ng ating Philippine Supreme Court. Totoo po, co-administrator si Ferdinand Bobo Marcos, wala pong kaso na siya mismo nagnakaw. Okay. Attorney Espiritu has 30 seconds for a rebuttal and we have a question again yes. from Dr. Thank you. So we don't... You have you have the time. You uh, have the opportunity, Attorney Espiritu, for a 30 second. My, my microphone is yes. being uh, silenced all the time when I do my rebuttal. Can I be able to continue yes, without attorney. my microphone being turned off? Yes, Attorney Espiritu. Okay, with all due respect uh, to uh, Attorney Harry Roque, I know your history. You were anti-Marcos before. You were for human rights before. Your life, you spent your life against the Marcoses, you work for human rights, and now that you were given a Senate spot under the party of Bongbong Marcos, now you cry hallelujah and praise Marcos. Okay. Thank you, Attorney Espiritu. We 